Welcome friends, welcome back to the kitchen, welcome back to Sunday morning and the old cookbook show. Today we're going to do a curious little recipe out of a curious little cookbook. It is called the Something Different Dish. Um, odd in name, but good to try when you want to have a change. This is a cookbook that was published, I think, in 1915. Um, yes, 1915. And it's a collection of recipes that the author has gotten out of magazines and newspapers. She says as much at the beginning. And she collected all of these recipe clips because the recipes have odd names, funny names, quirky names. And in keeping with that, today we're going to make something called wiggle. So into this pot, I've got some butter and we're going to melt that. So this was a book that was sent in by a viewer. Thank you very much. Love to get books like this. Um, I find it a very interesting book. It's got a lot of interesting recipes in it. And now I have to find another copy of it because um, whoever has owned it since 1915, I guess it's been out there for over 100 years, people along the way have seen recipes that they like and taken some scissors to the book and cut out the recipe, cut out that part of the page with the recipe, or just ripped pages out completely. So there's several spots. This page here had pictures. And so the pictures are missing, and then the next few pages are missing with the recipes on them. So I need to get another copy because there are some great recipes in it. Butter is melted. We're essentially making a roux, except it asked for a quarter cup of butter and two tablespoons of flour. So in the classical sense, not a classical roux mixture. And so a classical roux would be equal parts butter and flour. So we're going to cook that together a little bit. And I'm going to put in some salt. And it asks for paprika as much as you like. So we're going to start out with that much and see what happens. Now I think that's cooked enough. I'm going to get a whisk. And now I've got some milk here, and we're going to whisk the milk into the butter, flour, salt, and paprika mixture. So I'll just whisk that in slowly at first, and then all the rest. I'm supposed to bring this to a boil over the fire. My fire is powered by magnets, so it doesn't take very long to come to a boil. So now I've got some shrimp cut up. That goes in as well as some peas. It asks for canned peas drained of the liquor. I have frozen peas. It'll be fine. Okay, so stir those in. And now we just cook this until the shrimps are cooked through, which isn't going to take long at all. Glenn, you didn't say what you needed on your toast. Hey, friends. <laughs> We're having wiggle on our toast. <laughs> Is that cream peas on toast? Okay, I, I feel like I'm having a childhood nightmare. It, it is, for you, a childhood nightmare. My mom made this exact same thing, except she used a can of salmon instead of the shrimp. We never called it wiggle. I used Cream to love salmon it. on toast. I don't know. I don't really, I'm, I'm a little bit, I don't know. I'm not convinced. I, clearly, it's bringing you joy, though. It, it is. It is bringing me great joy. So it says to serve hot with crackers or fingers of buttered toast. And I, I take from that that they really oh, want fingers. you to put it in a, you dip it like in a bowl and it would almost be a soup and you dip it with. I'm kind of feeling like oh, I'm just gonna, gonna throw it on top. I'm just gonna throw it on top of the toast. I, uh, yeah. Now, I, as much as it's not my favorite, my family loves cream peas on toast and, and things like that, I. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> Maybe, you getting a knife? I'm getting a knife. There you go. Get yourself a piece of wiggle. Okay, how come I'm going first? I, uh... Is it, it's, it's orange. Why, is it cheese in it too, or...? No, no, it's uh, paprika. There's, okay. There's some paprika. Well, that'll a little, little kick. Yeah. Get some shrimp, get some peas, get some toast. A little bit of that cream sauce. Okay, so it's not the nightmare I remember, but it's also not something I'm, I'm, I'm not signing up for a second serving. Hmm. And this is my own thing. I mean, it's got lots of, I mean, it tastes like shrimp. There's just, just something about me and cream, certain cream things. Like, I'll, I will try it again just to make sure. Like, I'm not that fond of cream of mushroom soup or, oh, what is that dip? The onion, onion. Oh, French onion dip? Oh, no. Mm. No. 
There's something about it. It just doesn't. Blah. Okay. I could eat that all day long. See, there you go. All day and long. you know what? I know that my mom would love that, as would my grandfather. I might. To me, it's a it's it is a little soupier. Mm -hmm. I probably cut the butter back a little bit, leave the flour the same amount, and not put in as much milk, just to make the sauce just that little bit. Ah, uh, see, but the, you're also you know it's for dipping. Yes. So maybe it's um, meant to be more soup more and dip than. Yeah. Uh, but for me, it's it's on top of toast. Why, mm. did, why do you think it's called wiggle, though? I don't know why it's called wiggle. Mm. All right, so the wiggle is wonderful for Glenn. There's a lot of recipes in that book that I want to make. My problem is probably a third of all of the of the uh, of the recipes that are for savory dishes call for mushroom ketchup. Mushroom ketchup. So I'm going to have to make mushroom ketchup if I want to come back to this book to make some more of the I don't recipes. think I've even... I mean, other than the ketchup being that general term for sauces... No, about a third of the, the savories in that use uh, mushroom ketchup. You know, I, I think I'd actually really like mushroom ketchup. So we're going to... I've got a whole bunch of recipes. I've done the research. I just have to actually get down to making it. So I'm going to make some mushroom ketchup sometime in the next, I don't know, eight months to a year. I'm not, I'm not hemming myself in too much. <laughs> And then we'll come back to this book and we'll make some of the other recipes. This, Wiggle, Wiggle is a winner. Make room for the Wiggle. Make a Wiggle room for the Wiggle. It's getting worse. I'm on top of the Wiggle. Thank you very much. See you again soon. <laughs>